We got some work going on in the house, so you might hear some external noises today in this video. I, I've told you guys so many times I love vlogging with you guys. I really think that it brings us closer together. Even though my vlogs, they're not like big performing videos on my channel. What matters to me is like just putting out content that I really enjoy. That I think a lot of you, my loyal subscribers, like really enjoy as well. It doesn't always have to be about like something that's going to get the most views. But why I think it brings us closer together is not just because you guys are seeing more of my life and my personal life, but I feel like I learn more about you guys too, especially through the vlogging comment section of my videos. I really see what you guys like and what you guys relate to. And it's really interesting for me when I see that you guys are like, I love that you did that or I love this component of your Costco trip because it really makes it so realistic and relatable. I love building that like relatable, personal connection with you guys. So um, as you guys know, I did move into a new home and this vlog is gonna kind of take you through the last month of my previous home, a little less than a month, and then just right now moving into my new home, which is very, very, very fresh. So you'll see a little bit of family life and a little bit of the moving process and the moving in process. So let's jump right in. Hey, yeah. Flutter. <laughs> that was underwhelming. Uh, you guys, you went further. That wasn't so underwhelming. Further. Oh my God. Were you scared? That wasn't so underwhelming. Were you scared? I was scared. <laughs> I need a... I'm have fun. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I hit the kid. Oh my god, so we just fell off. <laughs> How was that? Get in with Ada. Get in with Ada. Let's go. Okay, let's go. There's little kids everywhere. Yeah, maybe I should have gone this one. <laughs> <laughs> so big. Use the brakes. <laughs> Use the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Where is he going? <laughs> Should I try that? <laughs> So let's see you go. Careful, okay, careful. Oh, put your feet in. One. Put your feet in. You know, I did mention to you guys for a few months now that I'm moving into a new home and now I moved. I did a little vlogging of just organizing my closet, getting rid of things I don't wear anymore and packing up some stuff. So I'll show you that in a minute. But I also told you guys about um, a new studio space that I was going to be filming at and I'm still absolutely going to be filming just like this, you and me at home. I just need to upgrade my lighting, my camera, a few little upgrades that will just make the viewing experience a little bit better for everyone. This is my filming room which I'll take you through soon. I do want to just address quickly in my last couple videos that I did do at my new studio. There is an audio issue and we are absolutely working on that. So my last video that I did was the leggings haul collection, and it's a really, really great video. Leggings and athletic wear, athleisure, is not necessarily my niche, but that doesn't mean that it's not a great video. So if you haven't checked it out, please do. It's a really, really good video, and I really take you through some of my favorite leggings, why I love them, why they're so flattering, slimming, lifting, compressing. So, you know, just uh, something I think that you guys will like if you give it a chance and actually click and watch. So anyways, let's get back into my closet, organizing, and just life. Okay. I'm storing some of my shoes. These are Dior lubes from years ago. Oh my God, like these I feel like are from like 2007. <laughs> and then all these lubes like I never wear. Oh my goodness. 
like up there. I definitely don't wear those. Those boots are sick though. These I, these I wear. And these are beautiful. These I definitely don't wear. These sandals, brown sandals. Um, these Atwoods I love. Aquazora. But those up there I don't really wear. These were my wedding shoes I don't wear. These I don't wear. Like they just kind of stay here. All the shoes that I actually wear, I don't even keep in my closet. A lot downstairs in my basement in the mudroom actually. Like there's a big cupboard unit. So I even have like some of my nicer shoes down there. But yeah, a lot of these have to go into storage. I, I used to be obsessed with these back in the day, the Biancas. They were just like such a cute high, like a nice high heel, comfortable, and lubes are never comfortable. So for high heels, these were like the best Louboutin I've ever made for comfort. Not saying much. <sighs> More Biancas in a nude. Their nude was never that good. Like this shade of nude, I don't know. So like grandma nude, but anyways. Like a sea of lubes in here. Still got more to put in. So I have these Bianca tall boots. Oh my God, I was obsessed with them. They have glass on them. Add them to this and then shut her down. are going to absorb all this water, all this juice. I don't know if I should cry or be happy. This is my empty closet. Oh my God, this was never enough space for my shoes. <laughs> That was hilarious. Um, all I did was, you know what, I kept my off shoes here. All the shoes I never wore, which wasn't the best idea because they were like a backdrop for my videos and like they weren't even the shoes that were the ones that I wore. <laughs> I just, <sighs> still learning this YouTube thing, guys, still learning. Bathroom's empty. Oh man, it's a lot. Oh, this wig, I wanna leave it here. Oh, nothing to see there. Look at all this. <laughs> Little picture that my daughter gave, made for me. the most incredible shoes that I wasn't able to show you in my last haul because they arrived after. Cassidy. Oh my god. The color is just outstanding. So I just like home today and they're like
Um, so okay, um, do you want to take those two clear long boxes and Which the one, one under it? Well, you can't take them at the same time. Three? Yes, yeah. I can. Yes, I can. All three? Each two? All three, you know, five, all three, because they're different shapes. Yeah. Yeah, these are the exercise two. Huh? But I guess I'll be doing the exercise once we're at the other house. I'll be bringing it in. Well, we'll bring it together. Thanks, babe. No problem. Backyard. Sweet boy. Hey, cutie. You gonna miss this place? One more plant to go. Wow. What a disaster in the new house. That's the next place I gotta show you. Laundry. With the front foyer, okay. Um, first of all, gorgeous millwork. Um, let me just show you. Um, some of my stuff is still shrink wrapped because I'm doing some construction here. So um, it's, I'm just not taking the plastic off because it's gonna be dusty and gross. So I'm just leaving it on. These floors I'm changing um, to something that's just a little more my vibe. Um, so this is the front entrance foyer, and then this is um, the like living room, like dining room onto living room. And I am also taking off this fireplace and replacing it with something up to the ceiling. It's going to be literal insanity. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. I searched far and wide for the marble that I wanted here. Like I knew what I wanted and I, I only wanted that and I wouldn't settle. So I found the exact marble that I had in mind. Um, and then, okay, let's just keep going. So, um, still in the front foyer, closet, and of course it has all my coats in it already. <laughs> like if guests come over, I'm like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> there's no space for you. <gasps> okay, then there's this part of the front foyer. So, I mean, it's kind of exiting the front foyer, but it's still kind of, you just past the entrance now and look at this millwork, like, oh my gosh. So I need a really magnificent light fixture for here and for here. And I don't know if they should be the same, like if I should get two really beautiful lights, like two of the same, or if I should switch it up, because it is kind of the same, like we're, we're like bringing the entrance further. Um, and then this is my dining room and I have, I'm waiting for my table and sideboard. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these chairs. They were in my previous living room, like my dining living room, but they're not gonna work anymore. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I had black chairs with my dining table before, but I, um, I actually sold them on Kijiji, which was so amazing. So now it's just like, everything's just, this is like the holding room. <laughs> because I'm just waiting for furniture. And then 
here we are in another little area and I gotta put something humongous here. I'm thinking like a really big, beautiful mirror. Um, and then here is the powder room, which I'm changing. It's nice, but not my vibe. Countertops I'm gonna change, mirror I'm gonna change, and then I'm, I wanna wallpaper all of this. Oh, and also some of the light fixtures are from the previous owner. This is coming down. I'm gonna change it to something that's just more like, um, more me. And same with that light over there. These aren't mine. Um, so they are going to come down. Now we are entering into the family room. And I just have like random stuff everywhere because <sighs> just waiting, I'm trying to sell this mirror on Kijiji. I just have no place for it. It's too small for this big wall that I just showed you. And there's just really nowhere else where it should or could go. Um, also it has some damage on it. So yeah, I don't want it. Um, and so I'm waiting for a rug, a couch and two chairs. And then also behind the TV here, I am changing that wall to a black marble. It's gonna be really, really cool, I think. I, I really hope I didn't make a mistake. This is one of, this this whole room is one I'm a little bit nervous about. I'm nervous about the color scheme, the couch, the rug and chairs, and then the black marble that I chose. Like, I'm a bit nervous. I did a, I took a little risk with this room and I just didn't, <laughs> totally think it through. I just kind of bought things that I really liked and I'm not so sure it's all going to work together. So I'm, I'm nervous because my husband will kill me. Um, this is just honestly everything so random here. Random. Like I gotta find places for these, uh, vases and all these little things all around. Um, menorahs, wedding photos and engagement photos. Me and my husband, he's so gorge. Me and my mom, that's my mom and I. Also so gorge. Me and my husband again. Him and his mom who passed away. That's my husband when he was a baby and his mom rest in peace. Um, just some more randomness. Obviously, none of this is staying like this. This is um, this is Jonathan Adler. I don't even know. Yeah, it's Jonathan Adler. Um, okay, now let's go into my kitchen. So this is one way into my kitchen, and this is another way into my kitchen. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm really, really happy. Everything in this house, by the way, is like 10 foot ceiling. So that's also amazing. There's a TV. Everything is super, super state of the art. There's like iPads for like controlling lights and sounds in this house. Um, um, okay, so this was my dining table at my old previous home. And I love it so much. And I knew that as soon as I measured like the space in this kitchen after I bought the home, I was like, my dining table is going here. Cause I always wanted to use this as a kitchen table when I had like a bigger kitchen space. So it's just so gorgeous. Um, just look at the base. It's just so, 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 so gorgeous. The chairs are from my old table and I think they're fine. They're doing the job. Now that I have it here in the kitchen, I, I really like it with the ghost chairs. It's open and airy, but it's still a big, beautiful, substantial table. And then, um, should I take you guys to the basement? Mud room, bit of a disaster, but some more of my coats. Kids coats, husband's shoes. Those are all my husband's coats. Kids coats, oh, a couple of my coats there. Random shoes, running shoes, hats, mittens, and then other random shoes. So that's the mudroom. Hats. Okay. 
basement. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. Wine room. Little play area. Online school. Art station for my daughter. Art supplies. This is a fun room. This is really fun. Movie night, COVID movie night. We do every Saturday. I cook a nice meal and we have our movie nights on the couch. Now we can do it down here. Amazing. So fun. Okay, also unorganized, but we'll go a little gym room. Mats, bands, and a TV. So, really good. So, so now let's go to the kids area. This is my son's room. Not very organized, but and then this adorable baby. Okay. So this is going to be my filming space. There's Anna. I painted her. And there's Carl. I painted both of these guys. And I can't wait to put them up. Nothing to see here yet. You'll see it in the next house tour. You're so cute, I can't get over how cute you are. You look like so this is a little funny. We got one more area to cover. And that is the upstairs loft, which my husband has turned into an office. It would have been the best as a YouTube studio, but I that was a fight that I was not even gonna start. So it was not even a discussion, I didn't even try because I knew it wasn't going to happen. Getting new furniture here, I don't want to bother him, so I can't even really film because he's doing stuff here, but he's going to have like office area and then chill zone here. He has his own bathroom and shower. It's honestly like an apartment up here. And that kind of concludes the empty house tour. Back to my room. So all of this is like from a shoot that I just did. And I just need to like tidy and figure out what I'm gonna do here in this closet because it's just still all over the place. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very, very happy and thankful and blessed. And I don't think I'll be moving again, <laughs> ever, <laughs> anytime soon or ever. So what would we do? Three coats here to see? I can already see that it makes the trim look more yellow. Yeah. I think so, which is just so sad. This is my favorite color in the world. 
in the sunshine now. Yeah. What's that cord at the top, babe? It's the networking, I think, every day. It's like, Is it always going to be like that? Yeah, of course. Really? So, Sergey, yes, the the silk and pine that you did, the green color that you did in the uh, kitchen, you only did one coat, right? I don't know, maybe two. It looks like one because it's really light. Sometimes two, sometimes one. I found a spot to put all my Hermes boxes. Um, and Chanel boxes. I might um, put some of these in my closet at the top, but I think it's just like known that you just never throw out the boxes, right? Like, do you guys throw out your boxes when you buy like luxury goods? My shoe boxes, I really never keep, but these I did also, I guess, cause I just bought them. There's a Valentino box, Bottega, Mac and Mac, Miu Miu. Um, but shoe boxes I generally don't keep. And then this couch, I obviously have to straighten up. The cushions are all wonky. I just want to straighten it up. I have this gorgeous um, pink Hermes blanket, which I don't know where I'm going to put it. This I got actually so long ago. Um, this could really work somewhere, maybe in here, maybe, I don't know. So like got some rolling racks, a bust form, a mirror. I still don't even know how it's all gonna come together. Like I have this vision and I have to just trust that it's gonna work out because I already ordered my furniture and there's no turning back, but I don't know how it's all gonna look once it's together. Cause I picked up pieces from here, pieces from there. And I'm kind of like choosing my paint color based on like how I think it's all gonna look. I'm just praying for the best. Cause I do screw up sometimes with these things, but I gotta do it myself and follow my own instincts and my inspo. So I can't wait to show you guys the final product, but right now this is what we got. Please stay tuned for so many amazing videos coming up. I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I have so many ideas going. I think it's gonna be so sick. I really hope you guys stick around for that. I love you guys so, so much. I'll be back very soon. It's gonna be so good. So many, so many good ideas. Like I'm excited about them. And I hope you are too. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next one very soon. So until then, bye for now.